Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I made my Mandalorian belt with a holster for my pistol that I made in a separate video and these little grenades that attach to the belt. So let's get right okay, to the guys. Belt. So for the belt, I cut out these three pieces of cardboard. Now I'm going to attach them with a little bit of duct tape. So I'm going to do that and then get back to you guys. Right, so, let's so this is go. what I did. So I attached the pieces of cardboard and then I put the outside with a layer of duct tape. So now I'm going to work on the belt buckle. So I'm going to cut out a shape that looks like that. So I'm going to do that and then get back to you guys. So let's. Okay, guys. So I cut out the belt buckle. So now I'm going to paint it, then attach it to the belt. So let's. Okay, guys. Go. So I painted this silver and then I attached it to the belt. So what I did, I put it in, looped this around and glued it in the back. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add the clip so it's a functioning belt. So let's cut to that okay guys so i attached a clip onto the belt buckle then attach this on the other side so now it's time to work on the holster if you didn't know i already made the blaster for this it was the first video on my channel so if you want to go see that you can check it out i think it came out well but what i'm going to do for the holster is i'm going i cut out a template looks like this the blaster is going to go sit like this and then this is all going to get folded over. So I'm going to do that, tape it together so it stays together, then get back to you guys. So let's okay, guys, go. So this is what it looks like. So as you see, the trigger is out. So you can, um, you know, put the hand on from the one scene from the se first season, last second to last episode, where um, Grief Cargo... No, I forget his name. Um, Was it Grief Cargo? Yeah, but... The guy takes Baby Yoda to see him, and he puts the hand on his trigger, but then he gives him back. But So that's what I want to do. So you can put your hand on the trigger to build up intensity for the show. Because that's what they like to do. They like to keep you guessing. Because they just won't tell you anything you want. So what I'm going to do now is cover it with duct tape. So let's go. Okay, guys. So this is what the holster is looking like. I added this strip of um, duct tape, and this is going to act as the retention. So I am going to add this piece of duct tape here so I can take it in and out. So I'm going to attach that and then get back to you guys. So let's go. Okay, guys. So I didn't add anything because I realized when the strap's on, I don't know how it's going to sit. So what I'm going to do next is work on some of the details. So he has a bunch of pouches and different things. So I'm going to work on the one of the pouches first. So I'm going to make a template, then get back to you guys. So let's so this is the piece I came up with. So it's basically a big piece of origami. And yes, I did cover up the back with duct tape. So you're going to fold this in, then this in, and then that in. So I'm going to do the glue everything down, then get back to you guys. So let's Okay, guys, so I folded up the pouch and then attached it. So now I'm going to work on the strap that's going across. So I'm going to do that, then get back to you guys, so let's... Okay, guys, so I attached a piece of cardboard going up and around. Now I'm going to cover it with duct tape, so I'm going to do that, then get back to you guys, so let's right, So I go. attached the strap, now I'm going to work on the pouch that's over here, but on this side, it looks a lot different. It kind of looks like a flashlight holder, so what I'm using is a piece of cardboard that looks like this and a piece of cardboard like this. And then I'm going to glue it like that. So I'm going to do that. And then put duct tape on it. And then glue it on. So I'm going to do that. And then get back to you guys. So let's Okay, guys. Go. So I attached the pouch all together. Now I'm going to work on the little ammo cartridges. So I'm going to make nine of them. So I'm going to make one and show you how I did it. So let's okay, guys. Go. So it's very easy. I just took a piece of cardboard that looks like this. Wrapped it up. And then <laughs> glued the back shut. So I'm going to glue all those together then paint them silver so let's go. i have all of them done so what i'm going to do do a time lapse of me gluing them onto the belt so let's go okay guys so right now i'm gluing two of the cartridges in the front two in the back and then the rest along the actual um strap and then i'm adding pieces of duct tape to make them look more realistic okay guys so i attached all the canisters as you saw so now I'm going to be working on his little grenade. So these are very easy. You can either do three or four steps. I'm personally doing four to make them uh, work how they do in the show. So what you're going to do, cut out two of these circles, glue these together, 
then you're going to want to surround the outside with cardboard that's corrugated on the inside. So what you will do, you will take this layer and peel it off. Then you add a water bottle cap on the top. And then the step after this to make it even better is cut a hole in the back and add a magnet. And then we're going to magnetize it. But if you don't want to do that, you can just glue it to the um belt which i'm going to actually make a what is it called a frame to put it on so i'm gonna do i'm gonna finish making all these then get back to you guys to how to make the frame Let's okay guys go. so these are all the three things together so i also made it this mounting plate so this is very simple kind of reminds me of a uh a light table belt clip yeah so there's a magnet here and a magnet on here so i cut a um a groove in here so you can drop it down easily find its place get attached to the magnet it's not the strongest connection but it will work for what you need see it's actually pretty good so if you get it on right it takes a few times to get it so this is just a piece of cardboard cut a groove in it then on the back i put this here on it Put a dab of hot glue, let the magnet find its place to the best spot, let it sit, put all these around, and then you just want to test it, make sure it works. If you might have to move the magnet, make sure it's in a good spot. If you're not getting it right, you might want to poke a small hole, and that's where you know you can glue the magnet. I'm just giving you ideas. So what I'm going to do now is cover this with a piece of thin cardboard, make the rest of the holders, holsters, mounting plates, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to make the rest of those and get back to you guys, so let's okay, see. Okay, guys, so these are what the grenades look like. So they each have magnets attached. So what I'm going to do next is paint them all a base coat of silver. So I'm going to do that and then get right back to you guys, so let's Okay, see. guys, so I have them all painted silver. So now the inside of these circles are going to be painted red. Then I'm going to weather everything. So remember, don't weather the inside of the red. Because that's supposed to be a light, and there wouldn't really be any weathering on a light. So I'm going to do all the rest of the painting, then get back to you guys. So here, okay, guys, so they're done, and they look really good. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to attach these to the belt. And then that should be the belt done, so I'm going to put attach them, then get back to you guys. So let's go. Okay, guys, so this is what I attach them to, right to the belt on this side of the pouch. So these are the grenades. You can, they will just be able to attach to the belt like so. So now, this is the belt on. So now it's time to work on the rifle. So this is the template I made for the rifle. So this is the main body of the rifle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into a time lapse. And what I'm going to do is cut out these two pieces and start working on the mechanism for the reloading system so let's it did go. not work on the rifle it is in a completely other video so make sure to check it out after you finish watching okay, this hey guys thank you for watching how i made my homemade mandalorian belt tutorial so if you want to see more videos like this make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss anything and if you enjoyed the video leave a like and don't forget to hit the bell button to make, to make sure you won't miss any of my other videos. So thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.